The State Department says it's missing all or part of at least 15 emails from Hillary Clinton's personal server. The department learned the record was incomplete after lawmakers investigating the 2012 attack on diplomatic staff in Benghazi, Libya, were given emails discussing that by Sidney Blumenthal, an old friend and informal advisor to Hillary Clinton. Nancy Cordes joins us now on the phone to talk about all this. So Nancy, this brings up a lot of questions. What are the implications here? Well, the implications are that uh, Hillary Clinton said that she turned over all of her records, all of her emails uh, that were work-related from her time as Secretary of State, about 55,000 pages. But uh, now the lawmakers who have independently uh, asked Sidney Blumenthal for all the emails that he sent to her found some discrepancies. They found cases where uh, he says he sent her an email, and they don't have that email in their records from her. Uh, so uh, they're raising the possibility that she uh, may have withheld some emails. Now, uh, the State Department put out a, uh, a statement tonight saying, uh, well, they're going to downplay it. They're saying the emails that she provided the department include almost everything uh, in Mr. Blumenthal's production. Uh, there's a limited number of instances, they say, where they couldn't find all or part uh, of the content of a document from his production. Uh, essentially, uh, they're implying that uh, this is the kind of thing that happens when you're talking about four years' worth of emails. Uh, and I talked to one of her aides tonight as well who said, look, uh, there are emails uh, that she produced that he doesn't have, that he didn't turn over. Uh, none of us, uh, you know, do a perfect job of saving all of our emails uh, is what they're indicating, and Hillary Clinton is no different. And, and Nancy, what is the Clinton camp saying, and how does this speak to Hillary's perception amongst voters in the U.S.? Well, you know, the problem is that whether she was uh, withholding those emails on purpose or not, and, it, you know, it does, there's nothing, as far as we can tell, uh, incriminating in those particular emails uh, that would explain why she might withhold those emails from Sidney Blumenthal and not others. But it, it still speaks to the fact that, uh, you know, there's a reason why you're supposed to use uh, your State Department email when you run the State Department so that emails don't fall through the cracks, so that things can be saved for the public record and that you aren't put in charge of deciding for yourself which emails are important to keep and which aren't. Uh, so, uh, you know, whether uh, this was purposeful or not, it's just a reminder that uh, she had a different uh, system for herself uh, than, than many lawmakers uh, and, and perhaps many voters believe she should have. Yeah, and Nancy, uh, that different system, uh, remind our viewers again this whole idea that she printed out these emails she turned over to the State Department, 55,000, she says, mm -hmm. and yet she deleted them after she turned them over. What's that all about? That's right. She said uh, she said that she has turned over uh, everything related to work and that about half of the emails were not related to work, and so she deleted them. Uh, so it's sort of, you know, you have to take my word for it because those emails no longer exist uh, on my private server. Now, uh, the head of the uh, committee that is investigating Benghazi, this special committee that has been uh, set up by Republicans, uh, he says the only way to be certain that she's turned everything over is for her to allow her server to be examined by a, an independent third party. Well, she has uh, basically said uh, no dice. Uh, there's no reason I should have to do that, and I'm not going to. Um, and so uh, that is, is kind of at a, at a standstill. She's also supposed to testify at some point before this committee, uh, but there's been so much back and forth about them wanting her to testify once uh, solely about how she handled her email and then testify another time about Benghazi and her lawyer saying, no, you're only going to get one crack at her. Uh, and so that's why we've seen a delay here. And Democrats, of course, argue uh, that this is all politically motivated, uh, that there hasn't been anything that has cropped up in any of her emails so far uh, that indicates uh, that there's, you know, any anything missing from the public record uh, regarding her handling of the, of the Benghazi situation and that Republicans are simply trying to damage her in advance of the 2016 presidential election. Yeah, and to that point, Nancy, I wonder, uh, lawmakers on the Hill, those that are critical of, of Hillary Clinton, are they focused more on the substance of the emails or the fact that they weren't shared with the State Department? 
Well, so far, there really hasn't been anything in the substance of the emails, and they've all uh, been made public so far, at least the ones that had to do specifically with Benghazi and Libya. There really wasn't anything in those emails that kind of changes what we know mm. about Benghazi itself, about Secretary Clinton's role in handling Benghazi. I mean, I sat there and read with a team of CBS News staffers through all 900 pages mm. of those emails, about 300 emails, and uh, – um, and there really isn't much to them, frankly. Uh, she's someone who uh, did a lot of her communicating verbally. Uh, she had a lot of people taking notes for her. So often when she did write an email, it was just a few words, you can check this out, pass this along, that kind of thing. Um, so Republicans really, you know, they haven't been able to argue yet uh, that they're that they've got some kind of smoking gun, that they found something, um, you know, that that really is damaging. On the other hand, they'd argue, well, that's because uh, Hillary Clinton had complete control over which emails got turned over to us, and she's not going to turn something over uh, that looks bad for her. So, uh, you know, this is this is one of those situations where. Uh, how you feel about Hillary Clinton, how you feel about Benghazi, how you feel about Republicans in Congress uh, has a big impact on what you think of this particular controversy. Nancy Cordes reporting for us from Washington, D.C. Nancy, thank you so much. You're welcome, Vlad.